Well, it's a balmy, uh, what, 34? 34, oh, jeez, now the sun comes out. <laughs> now it feels great. Uh, 30, mid 30 degrees here. Uh, end of January, Minnesota. And I want to show you what I've been working on, or I got some stuff. So this is the move uh, that I'm making. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna join the Victron cult, I guess. Um, it's really cool, and um, there's a couple of things that I'm gonna get to later that make this really, really great. I think. So to start. The core of the system is the Victron Energy Multi Plus. Uh, 24 volts, 300 watts, 70 amp charger. It will put out, did I say 3000 watts, whatever. And uh, 120 volts. I want to try and stick with a 30 amp system for reasons. Uh, then, of course, we also have a charge controller, uh, 100 volts. It will do. 50 amps of charging at 24 volts so that's gonna be good then I got some other odds and ends here to connect all of these up to something that's in that box and I'm gonna wait to uh, get into that until a little bit later so I thought we'd uh, I don't know, I'll just dig into this together. I have to admit, I opened this box by myself because I was really excited. But then I thought, well, wait a minute. Maybe everyone else would like to see what this is like. Um, so, this is as far as I got with it. All right. I took this piece out. But I have not gone beyond this. Uh, this is going to be a little bit This is a two-handed job, and I'm holding this camera with one. And this is about 50 pounds, so... I'm gonna set this down and uh, flip it up and then we'll see what's going on with it. All right, there it is, wow. That does look pretty. It actually seems a lot smaller than I thought it would be for some reason. We got a uh, manual and stuff. Some plates, some screws, even countersink stuff. I have to say, so big picture, why why am I going to Victron, which is completely overpriced. Uh, it's ex actually, let me take that back. It's not overpriced. It is expensive, but it is worth it. I believe, because I've already been through one inverter that was like 850 bucks, but it stopped working. I don't want to put stuff in my bus that will stop working, at least quite so easily. I'm fine paying a little bit, with a little more attention to detail, and it's just little stuff like this. Like, you know, countersinking your uh, screw holes. Uh, I think this is a Dutch, Netherlands uh, based company. I mean, everything looks sharp. They got an app that this will connect into. So anyway, you can see it's got some basic controls here. Oh, we got some connections on the bottom here. Um, for relays, sensing, all that kind of stuff. Uh, really, I mean, you can't help but make this end up looking pretty sharp once it's installed, I think. And that is all the guts inside. Uh, oh, nice. So this has um, two AC outs. Um, one AC in, and oh, it looks like it's got some. Okay, that these must be the VE bus ports. I don't think it has any VE direct ports. And then, of course, you got your battery plus, battery minus. <clears throat> it's got tons of relays here. You know, auxiliary relays, ground relay. Uh, I'll have to trickle charger relay. 
No idea exactly what that's about. Um, and somewhere in here, I think the relays you can like use that as a generator start, all that kind of stuff. So, really impressed uh, with these. And so, now let's look at this here. It's pretty impressive. I have to admit, I've already opened this guy up. I got this a couple days ago. This just arrived today. Got a manual. Actually, I read through this. This is pretty cool. There's a couple, yes, I read through the manual. There is something in here. Um, yeah, this is something really interesting. So, in low temperatures, the voltage on solar panels will actually exceed what they're rated for. So, in cold climates like this one, that can actually, uh, that's to our advantage. Solar panels perform better when it's cold. So this can talk to this, all right? But it needs something in between. Now I know what maybe some people know about Victron's offerings are saying. There's another plug to connect other things together. I got a couple of these things. They're saying, well, Sean, you just got a, uh, you just got a uh, color control monitor that they sell. And I really thought about doing that because that is, uh, it's really nice. But then I, I looked, well, you know what? I'll just show you why. This is it, pretty much. This is uh, a home-built monitor, basically a color control uh, remote, or CCGX is what Victron sells. Um, and it's running on a Raspberry Pi. And Victron actually supports doing that. Now, how crazy is that? A company... They, actually, they open source a ton of this software that runs all this. And they'll actually they have guides, a complete forum, showing you how to install their software on this. Now, I'll say, I'll go into detail. Maybe I'll do a completely separate video on showing this. But I will show you real, on actually how to install it. But let me uh, give this some power, and I'll show you exactly what I made. All right, so if anybody's used any Raspberry Pi stuff before. This is maybe pretty uh, similar. Basically, it's a miniature Linux computer. But we get the little boot logo, and I haven't figured out how to clear that up. That's not a big deal in my mind. Um, so this is it starting up. Now, I this represents, uh, I don't know, probably about 8 to 12 hours of work to get it to this point, but... Now I could do it in about 20 minutes. It's super, super easy now. But uh, so the normal color control that Victron sells, you have tactile buttons, which are, are really nice. Um, but wouldn't it be nice if you could just touch stuff? You know? Wouldn't that be cool? Now there's the demo mode. I wonder if it's not working very well because it's cold. And I'm doing this kind of looking at my phone. <laughs> fingers are frozen. It's cold. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, this is... What's really cool about this whole system is this is your inverter. This will tell you your AC loads. Your AC input from a generator or a shoreline, whatever. It's tell you the state of your battery power. Uh, and then DC power. I'm not sure exactly what that's at. And then there's a nice spot here left over for... This thing when I get it hooked up, it'll show me um, PV power coming in. So, and I think on one of these, oh, I went too far. Uh, you can actually even put, it'll show you tank status, like your water tanks, I believe. Um, so, this is like the whole overview for the whole RV. That is why I went with Victron on all their stuff, is because I could. I'm a sucker for everything that works together. So anyway, that's uh, that's why I went with uh, Victron for all my electrical and solar charging needs and all that sort of stuff. Um, hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully it was helpful for somebody. And I just noticed we went over 100 subs. So 
but that's pretty cool. <laughs> I still think it's ridiculous, but uh, as long as that number keeps going up, I'm going to keep making videos.